positives to be taken for Stoke City, despite defeat to Brentford and Cup exit. In your cliched game of two halves, Stoke and Michael O'Neill can take much from their reaction in the second 45, as well as the promising performances of their returnees. Oak City fell to a disappointing 2-1 defeat against Premier League Brentford on Wednesday night at the Bet365 Stadium after leaving themselves too much to do in the end after falling two goals behind before halftime. In your cliched game of two halves, Stoke and Michael O'Neill can take much from their reaction in the second 45 as well as the promising performances of their returnees. The four strikers that took to the pitch for sizable minutes in the match all showed glimpses of their quality in a nod to the upcoming pleasant selection headache at the top end of the pitch for the manager. At the other end, Joe Bursic also impressed again in his second outing in succession. Campbell continues to show signs. After being given the start for the first time this season, the 21-year-old displayed glimpses of what Michael O'Neill referred to as the tie that we remember particularly during the first half. His searches of the pitch were the main way that Stoke City drove themselves forward during a 45 minutes to largely forget. This attacking endeavour was understandably short on end product with Campbell's lack of match fitness and was not helped by the lack of cohesion displayed in the final third by his teammates either as they struggled largely to break out when penned in by Brentford. In what is now his third appearance of the season over 100 minutes combined in the legs now over the last 10 days the weekend clash with Cardiff City could well be the opportunity where a large contingent of Potter's supporters get the chance to see the striker continuing to improve against perhaps more amenable opposition than what was a strong Premier League outfit on the night. Bursic solidifying his spot. The England under-21 international was making just his second start since returning to the side last weekend, but O'Neill's renewed faith in the shot stopper paid off against an attacking Brentford side throughout the 90 minutes. In the first half, he kept out well from winger Sergi Kano's chinking drive that threatened to catch him out at his near post but could do little to prevent the former Liverpool man's goal from the edge of the area after Stoke made a mess of clearing the resulting corner. It was a similar story for the opposition's second with Ivan Tony being allowed too much space inside the penalty area and taking his shot quickly as it came across his body, which left Bursic with little time to get down and keep the shot out low to his left. But as the second half rolled around he tilted the tide in his running battle with the Brentford talisman, saving a strong volley early after the break to keep his side in the contest before making two further saves one-on-one -on -one with the frontman where he displayed a keen ability to rush out well and deny Tony's attempted dinks which either would have surely sealed the result long before the final whistle.